All right, so for first burn this time, we got the brand new 2024 Articat Catalyst Sled 600. Obviously, they're all 600s. Um, at this point, I really don't know a lot about it. I haven't gone it through any of the tech briefings. Um, and I've only ridden it probably, I don't know, four kilometers so far to get here. And uh, let's go for a ride. All right, come on with me. You're gonna go to this camera now. All right, so like I said, I haven't done any tech briefings on this thing yet, so I have no idea what's going on with, you know, what type of suspension's in this thing, what type of track's in this thing. I got no idea. Actually, for right now, I don't really care. I just wanted to ride this thing and kind of give you my impressions, so here it is. Um, let's start with really the seating position on this thing. I mean, it's all new bodywork, and when you're kind of down here in the pocket, like up, kind of up on the tank, I mean, this thing is super narrow. You can haul off to the side really good, even though we're just going straight down the trail right now. But I mean, the pocket here is absolutely great. Lots of room for your knees. I do find just, if you're really off the inside, the very front of the cowl here, or the back of the cowl, you know, does get into your leg a little bit. So, you know, good boots, maybe uh, some shin pads and stuff like that would be good on this machine as well, but that's pretty normal for a lot of today's sleds. This thing feels really good, just as a seating position. Seat's nice and firm too. Very, uh, uh, very Polaris feeling. I mean, if I'm gonna equate it to something, the closest thing out there is, uh, is Polaris. Um, you know, you gotta really get into the knees and squeeze nice. Beautiful, I love it. For the handlebar position, um, okay, so the, it's got a, an adjustable riser on it. It's a little too far back for the way I like it. I would want to roll it forward a bit, but uh, you know, it does feel really good. Uh, the next thing, let's talk about uh, the power. SeaTech Do 600. This thing is a little ripper of a motor. I mean, even at a low RPM. It sounds good, you know, it's not, it's not lazy, it, it, it revs nice, you know, really good. Now, if you're coming off an 850 or something like that, or a turbocharged sled, you know, it's going to feel a little lazier than that, but, I mean, honestly, this 600 is good, and it's quick too, I mean, there's no, it's not a slouch. The other thing I really like that hasn't changed, I've always liked the brake system on these sleds. You know, one finger, it's got really good feel. The snow today is a little slippery, if that makes sense. So, you know, breaking in the corners, it's lively in the back end. You can really get it to, to flick out quickly. So, got to be a little careful on that. Kind of feel it there, that's a little bit of a lockup. So, coming in under threshold, breaking into the corner, got to be a little careful it's not a lot of brake pressure which is really nice now suspension wise it's a 129 inch track on this thing i got no idea how long or sorry how high the lugs are don't really care right now let's just call it good enough but on i mean these trails are nice and smooth but this thing feels planted it's an uncoupled rear i think from when i was looking at it before let's maybe just pull over here for half a second take a look nice yeah good safe spot here just take a quick look at this guy so if i'm going to judge the rear lugs looks like maybe inch and a quarter so that's uh you know that's pretty good for a trail sled uncoupled rear on the scissor stop uh, we got it set on the lowest setting back there. Front suspension, of course, all new with a very, very compact front end. I mean, it looks very cool, actually. When you set this against the older model, you can definitely see how it came out a lot farther forward. But this one's nice and stubby on the front. Looks great. Um, Non-adjustable front suspension. This is a ZR package, but nothing else super special. Electric start on it, which is super nice. Nobody's coming, so let's go. <laughs> Oh yeah, like that, look, just hear the motor. Really nice. A little sea lift. Yeah, sir. That's a 
pretty good. Happy with that. But yeah, I'm, I'm falling in love with this machine. I do really like it. Again, before kind of talking to you guys about it, four or five kilometers, so a couple, three miles is really all I put on this machine before hopping on and just sort of giving my my impressions of it, kind of a la seat of the pants. But so far, I'm very, very impressed. You know, do miss, I hope eventually it will come. I mean, other motor choices, other package choices, it's all coming. But uh, for right now, this thing is, this is gonna be one of my new favorite rockets.